We're going to talk about adding media to your WordPress posts. As you can see right here in your edit post section or edit post page, we have this link that says or a button that says add media. Click on it. When you click on it, you should have the pop-up box for insert media. So on the left side, you have insert media, create gallery, set featured image, and insert from URL links. Let's go with the first one since we don't have any images yet. So select files, click on this to select the files that you'd like to upload from your computer. So we're just going to choose a random image here. Choose this. Click. There you have it. It's uploading. On the right side, you have several options for attachment details. So you can change the URL, or you can see the URL here. You can change the title. You can change the caption. Alt text, description of the image, and you can also have more settings. One is for alignment of the image, if you want it to be aligned in the center or in the left or in the right. You can have it linked to the original file or the media file, or to one of the other options here, or if you want it to link to none, that means if you choose none, nothing will happen if the website visitors will click on this image on your post. You can also choose the size right here. So once you're done specifying the changes that you like, click on insert into post. As you can see, it should be here. Now, when you click on the image, you'll have several options here. You should have these options, by the way, when you have successfully inserted your image into your post. So you have align left option, align center, align right, no alignment, edit. This will bring up the image details pop-up box. So in this pop-up box, you'll have the option to edit the caption. This is a sample upload, just in case. Again, you'll have the options for alignment, sizes, just in case you want to have a small image on your post, or the full size, or just the medium or the standard. Again, you'll have the options to link the image in your post to the original file or the media file, attachment page, a different URL, or just none. Advanced options, you can go ahead and click on this one, but this is not usually edited by most users, so we can leave it be. So just click on update, and you should be good. As you can see, it's here. The caption shows on the bottom part of the image. So if you don't want that, just click on edit and then remove the caption right here. Just delete this part, click on update, and you should not have the caption there. The last button is the remove or the delete button here. So clicking on this one will remove the image from your blog or your post. So with that, thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.